We think that the cavefish, having diverged from the surface fish 160,000 years ago, can provide insight into not just the short-term effect of decreased movement, but how muscle change is spanning 160,000 years, and how we can better understand underlying principles which govern this change in, in muscle mass and composition, and try to translate that to human conditions. Many people may be familiar with this funny movie, Wally, -E, where at the end, we see that they're all in this big ship kind of sitting all day long. Potentially studying this could help us also inform us better um, how we can deal with this sedentary behavior change and the couch potato behavior that humans tend to display more and more. Cavefish have evolved a really unique strategy to conserve energy in the caves, and that's to dramatically decrease energetically costly forms of movement. It's called burst-like swimming. Uh, it's like when you see Usain Bolt or some sprinter on the track running as fast as they can. This costs a lot of energy, and so cavefish have decided to completely lose this form of movement as a way to survive in their nutrient depleted cave conditions. Um, but this comes with functional consequences. They've lost their muscle mass, or a large majority of their muscle mass. They've kind of revamped the traditional strategy of muscle cells, which is to contract. They instead store fats and sugars. We tried to see how exactly they've rewired their muscle um, to take on this couch potato-like phenotype. Interestingly enough though, despite these dramatic declines in muscle mass and muscle function, they still have the ability to swim at really high speeds for prolonged periods of time. And we were able to narrow it down to a single protein, phosphoglucomutase 1, and a single phosphorylation event on that protein. Glycogen is the stored form of glucose. We found cavefish have the increased capacity to store glycogen in their muscle and to break that glycogen down. And we found that this specific phosphorylation event converts the glucose into glycogen, which is this needed fuel reserve to drive prolonged movement, which we see in this exercise stimulus. Another application is, of course, space travel. Studying systems where you lose muscle mass, but from an evolutionary perspective, where you, maybe evolution has even come up with solution to deal with the loss of muscle, could potentially inform us also about strategies, how we could reach Mars or even, even further galaxies. I think this finally gives us a model where we can see not what happens over a year or a couple of years of disuse, but what would happen if we remain inactive for thousands of years? How does the muscle respond? How does it remodel? How does it change its investment strategies? And maybe the cavefish can provide a bit of insight.